All right, so summer 26, we're doing Leo's birthday today. Hopefully this will be the last gift we need to give Leo. What vehicle? Okay, good. A loud vehicle just went by. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give Leo a loved gift and it looks like I can make the solar panel. It's supposed to be raining, so I should be able to get the mermaid pendant. We're gonna marry Maru soon, actually. Um, and yeah, and then after that, it's just on that keg grind. And then on the 28th of summer, we gotta get ready for fall. So I'm gonna have to, I should probably, I wonder if I should buy my pumpkin seeds early. I probably should, that way I don't have to mess around. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, buy pumpkin seeds. There we go. Now here's an interesting thought. Would it be worth buying Deluxe Speed Grow? To plant on the farm for fall. That actually might be worth it because that would get me an extra harvest of pumpkins. Uh, let's confirm that fact. Let's go into the crop planner. Look at fall. So if we plant it on the first of fall with Deluxe Speed Grow, that gives us 10. 19. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. So it's summer 20, what is it? 26. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Because it's only available on Thursdays and I'd have to have it ready before that. So I mean, I could try buying it from uh, from Pierre. It costs a lot more. But I could try buying the deluxe speaker from Pierre for like double the money. <laughs> double the money. I'm not, uh, actually almost, yeah. Think about that. Is it worth doing? I think it probably is actually. Can be sunny tomorrow. What's the luck? Mildly annoyed. That's unfortunate. Apparently I need to do the greenhouse today. I had the greenhouse written down on my list. Um, I should check the farm computer as well and see what... Uh, See how many crops I have. Also need to check for duck feathers. Need to always check for duck feathers. I may as well grab the duck mayonnaise while I'm here. One moment. Ooh, yes, it is greenhouse day. I left a mango down there. <coughs> All right, <coughs> so 7 a.m. I could probably get down to the beach and do the mermaid's pendant any time. Um, but let's, I'm actually gonna move this. Cause I keep hitting it when I'm walking over there. So let me move it to the far side. Like so, there we go. Um, yeah, I should be able to go to the beach any time. So that's good. Let's get some coffee brewing. Uh, put those there, put that there. Grab those. Okay. And let's clear myself some space. Oh, I have nine deluxe speaker right there. That'll, that'll save some money. It actually will save some money, to be honest with you. Um, because we have 531 total crops, but I don't know if that includes like the open till soil is open tilled soil is two. So if I get 533, will that be enough for everything? I don't want to overbuy, um, but will that be enough for everything? Because I did see there was like a crop that got hit with lightning or something. There's like a wasted crop right there. So hopefully that'll be okay. If I get 533 in total, minus 9 is 524. So I'll probably buy 524. Hope for the best. In the meantime, we can make four more kegs. Let's get these guys made. I should probably start um, putting 
starfruit in kegs as soon as I get the kegs. I hate to do it because it's kind of kind of be janky, but I probably should. Oh, are we done here? We might be done. Yeah, I think we're kind of done. I think we're kind of done. So let's go back to the bus stop. Maybe I will throw in some extra stuff. I mean, I can, like, there's some stuff I can let sit and let sink up and whatnot, so I should probably get more starfruit going. We do have a lot more now. We have a whole other, I brought 600 back with me, so we should have lots. Okay. There is four more kegs. There we go. We'll go, up to, we'll go back to the quarry. Oh, Leo. We got a gift Leo. It's Friday. He should be here somewhere, I think. Um, gotta make sure we gift Leo today. We have to gift Leo today. It's his birthday. We gotta make sure we do that. So let's go to the quarry. Gonna throw in some more star fruit wine. Like so. And then there might be some kegs there or not. Okay, so that's full. That's good. Uh, let's actually go this way and see if he's at his tree house. <laughs> Thought I'd block myself in there. That would have been bad. I don't know why I didn't take the minecart. That seems silly. I really hope I get lucky with that prehistoric scapula too, actually. I forget how long it took for the hole to grow, fill in, where my first wooden tooth was. Yeah, I don't remember. It seemed abnormally long to me, but for mine, but uh... Alright everybody, come on, get out of the way. Do not want to screw this up and gift Linus by accident. Alright, there's a birthday gift for Leo. Do we get him? Nice! Google says six weeks. Yeah, I could take a while for sure. So we just maxed out Leo. That is awesome, actually. That is super good. Uh, where's my Stardew friendship list? There it is. We can delete Leo. So it's just Maru, Penny, Elliot, and Kent. Uh, but we can't do that with... Actually, no, we're good with Maru until we get married. Then we get up to 14 hearts. So I need to get Penny, Kent, and Elliot. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go home. The coffee should be done. Make some more triple shot. And then, just resource gathering, basically, for more kegs. I'm not even sure how many kegs I need. This is, this is the thing. I don't actually know. How many kegs I need. Which is a little bit concerning. I don't want to over keg if I cannot at all help it. But I do need to make sure I get through everything. So. Okay, let's go buy some. Let me, let me grab a emerald. And let's go find Kent, Elliot, and Penny. Thinking Kent might be first, because Kent's probably at home. Theme park hosting vaccine Friday and Saturday. Nice. Yeah, it was funny. Things are... Well, yeah, it's kind of funny, because things are, like... They're starting to open up in BC more. I've already given Kent two gifts this week. What? Have I finished friendship this week? Oh, I have finished friendship. Okay, never mind. Um, what else do I have going on? Yeah, things are starting to open up and stuff, and and uh, it is interesting seeing like people who are wearing masks, people who aren't wearing masks. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, make a solar so solar mist. So let's grab the mermaid pendant. Let's uh, go see if we can swing by Pierre and buy some deluxe speed grow. And I may as well buy the pumpkins too, I guess. Get like 600 or so pumpkins. What did I say it was? 524, I think? 
So let's grab pumpkin seeds. I'm just gonna grab like 600 pumpkin seeds just because I can. There are 600. And let's find some deluxe speed grow. Whew, wow, this is pricey. Works best without anti vaxxers. Um, okay, I'm gonna try it. I can always come back and grab more. Let's grab like 525. Okay, so in theory, if my math is correct and the farm computer isn't screwing me over, that should be enough. I'm really low on cash right now. This is a little bit scary. Going into fall, going into the last fall. I have 151,000 and I need 12 million or something like that. I need 11 or 12 million. So it's a little bit scary. But uh, hopefully, like I say, with enough kegs and stuff, hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. If I can get the kegs, which we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to leave the pumpkin seeds out here. And the deluxe speed grow as well. Probably put the star fruit back so I don't have that on me. Oops. Uh, does this tell me how much hay I have? Uh, 74. <laughs> I need to buy some hay. Uh, Alright, so now let's um, gather some more stuff, I guess. Let's gather some more wood. How many kegs do I have right now? 367. How many crops am I going to have? Well, if I get three harvests of pumpkins, that's going to be 1,500, let's say. Um, I'm going to have, I think, seven more harvests. I think three, six, six or seven more harvests of star fruit. So that's going to be quite a few, actually, like 4,000. How many kegs do I need for that? More, actually. Just I don't, I don't even know right now, but normally I would say I would need a third of that. So I would need, you know, 1,500 kegs or something like that would be enough. And that's a lot of kegs. 1,500 is a lot of kegs. So I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen. So, let's, I can make 10 more kegs with the wood I have. Should I go for iron and copper? Hmm. Or do I go try and get more wood? I'm not going to have a lot of wood, actually. Let's go for iron and copper. And, uh, see if we get lucky with some more, uh, I forgot, it's not great luck today, either. I guess I should go check for the prehistoric scapula every day, too, shouldn't I? I should probably do that. And I guess I could probably check Cinder Sap as well for, uh... Check Cinder Sap for those artifact spots, since at least that's a 3% chance of me getting it. Yeah, this sucks. This is a, kind of a bad luck day to be doing this. Wow. Second to last rock. Alright, well let's... Uh, maybe I will go and see if... On the off chance that there is some... Uh, On the off chance there is an artifact spot or two. Go check Cinder Sap. There are probably some trees I could get down in Cinder Sap as well. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. This, this is real crappy. If it was a good luck day, it might be different, but honestly, 
What am I doing right now? I'll kill the slimes. I still need some slimes, but let's get out of here. Okay, well, we can put uh, one of those in there. I might make myself another radioactive bar. But for now, let's just go to, uh, let's just, yeah, let's deal with some inventory. We'll go check Cinder Sap for, um, eat some mushroom stars. We'll check Cinder Sap for artifact spots. Sure, why not? Uh, maybe I'll keep that and eat it. Probably put the emerald away too, since we can't do any more gifting this week. Sell a bug. I can't remember if bug meat sells for more than bait. Let me have a look, actually. Is it worth me converting my bug meat into bait and selling it that way? So bug meat sells for eight. Bait sells for one. So it's totally worth me selling the bug meat. All right, what do I have for hardwood? Do I have enough to make another? Oh yeah, I should do. Make another heavy tamper. There we go. Lovely. Uh, let's just knock this one out. I don't know. I have another tapper I can put somewhere else. Oh, coffee's done. Okay. Alright, let's go see what we can see here. I'll just do it as a screenshot, just to save myself some time. Oh, there's one. Come on, prehistoric scapula. Oh, so dang. Uh, you know, let me zoom in on this a little bit. Okay. Oh, open. There we go. All right. So, do we see any other artifact spots? There's nothing over here. Nothing there. Ah, oh, there's one down there. I'll go check that out. Just because it's worth the risk. Like I said, I mean... I Actually, you know what? I think this prehistoric scapula... I feel like it's it might be the last RNG thing I have to deal with. I feel like it might be the last one. I'm trying to think of what else I have that's kind of just purely dependent on luck. I don't think there's any. Cause, I mean, I have all the recipes and stuff. Okay, well, I guess while I'm here, I may as well cut some trees down, because at least let me, make, let me get something out of this trip. And yeah, maybe I will go back to Ginger Island, and just because I can now. Maybe I'll go back to Ginger Island and, uh... See if I get lucky with the bone node. The 576 wood, that's good. Honestly, I would like to... I'm trying to think of what the plan is for kegs right now. Well, I think my next plan is to fill the house. I'm not sure how many kegs I'm going to need to fill the house. Um, I also need to be a little bit careful about getting married, because I'm not sure where the NPC pathing is going to go, so i got to be a little bit careful about that. Um, a little bit careful about that. Um... And once the house is full, I'll probably do the, uh, I guess I'll do the bus. Do the, um, the, the, the tunnel and stuff. Totally 
totally not doing this in a very efficient way. There are far more efficient ways to be cutting down these trees. This is suboptimal. Something. Uh, I guess I'll eat these spice berries. Get them out of my inventory. Oof. Not a lot going on with those spice berries. That's okay. Better than nothing. Also, if I have time, I'll head up to the train station and uh, put my last uh, tapper down. I almost have a thousand wood, that's awesome. I'm very happy about that. That'll be a huge help. I don't feel like this is a super useful waste of, uh, use of my time. I feel like I'm kind of wasting time. I mean, I'm clearly not, because I need the wood for kegs, but, um, and really, even with a thousand wood, so what would that make me for kegs? That's going to make me, uh, 40 each, oh, 400, 10, 800 is 20, so it's only 30 kegs. A thousand wood only gets you 30 kegs. So really... Even for me just to get the kegs I think I'm going to need. As nice as a thousand wood sounds. I'm going to need a lot more than a thousand. as well. So it is fading. What else can I eat? Uh, I guess I'm eating... Oh, I got a spice berry. And I'll start eating some apricots. Trying to not... I don't want to waste any food, but I need to have enough to get through this, uh, this, this wood grab. Really can't complain though, we got a decent amount of wood now. Okay. Looking good, it's probably are the trees up here. Oh, yeah, there are. Okay. Grab a bit of fiber while we're here. I keep it on the time too, it's getting kind of late. I probably have time to get up to the um, get up to the train. Ah, uh, maybe not. I'll put that down these. Still want to keep the triple shot though. It's, it feels kind of wasteful using it this close to the end of the day, but I need to be able to make moves. Seconds, cut this tree down. Alright, so 1 a.m. We've got 1500 wood, so that's good. Oh, let's grab a bit more here. There we go. So we got a decent amount of wood now. This will definitely tide us over for a bit. keeping here. I guess I'm keeping most of these tree seeds and things. Um, 
Gonna keep the wood on me. It's 1.30, yeah, I don't have time to get up to the train. We'll sell that and that. I'll put the emerald away, I'm not gonna need that for a couple days. Like so. Alright, so we have 1,500 wood, so that's, that's, that's good. Now what am I short on the most? Probably, um... I would imagine I am mostly short on... I have a little bit of iron. But it's just, I mean, the metal's now, right? Well, I'm the... I have wood, and that's about it. I still need lots of oak resin, lots of copper, lots of iron. So... That's still the grind. And... Today's the last day, like next two days in game. Um, I'm an idiot. I didn't go get the. I didn't go get the mermaid pendant. Whoops! <laughs> that was a cock up. All right. That was a mistake. Okay, well, I mean, too late now. Um, so we're going to leave the starfruit for today. Um, I will just check for gifts for... Oh, I see an oak resin down there as well. Duck feather, very nice. This is awesome, actually. I'm actually getting... Oh, although, hold on. I've maxed out Leo already. I've already maxed out Leo. Does anybody else love a duck feather that I, that I need to give a gift to? Just Leo and Elliot. Sweet. Okay. That's awesome. So that's going to save me a little bit too. Whoops, crap. Um, okay. Duck Feather goes to Elliot now. Sweet. Now we've already maxed out Krobus, so I'm going to sell those. The apples are just generic. We've maxed out Haley. We've maxed out the dwarf, I think. Have we maxed out the dwarf? Forgotten already. Yes, it's just Kent, Elliot, Penny, and Maru. Sell the green tea. Diamonds are for Maru. Diamonds are for Maru! Uh, we can get rid of that. So we'll just keep those. Everything else I can sell. Sweet. Um, I can't believe I screwed that up. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Um, that should, uh, should also be enough diamonds. If I have enough weeks left in the game, I have eight, so it should be fine. It should be enough for me to max out Maru. What I'll probably do, because I don't think it, I think it cannot rain tomorrow. It cannot rain on the first, so maybe on the second I can make it rain, and then go get the mermaid pendant. Hopefully, I don't forget. Um, okay, let's sell some stuff. I mean, I could make the void eggs into like void mayo, ain't void mayo or something, but I'll keep like five. all looking good. Okay, so let's go up to the um, train station. Probably make some more tree fertilizer too, actually. Let's do that. Twelve, nice. So I'll go up to the train station. Actually, let me check uh, the fruit cave. There's not much in there. Let me grab these oak resin as well. Oh wow, we got quite a few. Sweet. This is good. I'll just put this here. Why not, right? Okay. Sweet, so we'll skip the train station. Um, although I will check it for tree fertilizer. Um, let me just throw some of those in there, I guess. No idea why I have any of this stuff here. I'm uh, pretty sure I don't need an albacore for anything. I've got 41 iridium ore right here. Why do I have 41 iridium ore? Because how many bars do I need? I need 41 bars, which isn't great, but I only need four. Yeah, I could totally smelt those. Let's do that. I can sell these as well. I've got a couple pumpkins there that I'll put in my keg chest. I can sell the coconut. Nah, hold on. Uh, can I sell the coconuts? I need 13 coconuts. I only have 12. No, I have 14. Okay, we're good. 
Uh, I should also make a mango sticky rice real quick. Let me do that. Hopefully I have everything I need. Beautiful, there it is. Mango sticky rice has been made. Where is it? There it is. Uh, quick check. Sandy loves it. Don't need to give Sandy. So let's just mark that off. Beautiful. So. Um, pumpkins can go in there. Starfruit can go in there. The mango sticky rice. What's the buff on that? Defense. It's not bad, actually. That in there. Let's sell some stuff. Sell the albacore and the beer. Got 15 oak resin. Wow, I just need 12 more bars of, uh, of, of copper. Then I should probably go do that. So let's do this. Let's cut up to the train station. Um... Head to the train station, we'll put down the, the tree fertilizer. And then, uh... Oh, actually, I should have taken a screenshot of cinder sap. I gotta make sure I'm making a point of cinder sap screenshots every time. <coughs> Leo chilling, chilling with the kids. with Willy. <laughs> Creeping on Jazz. Here's the house the parrots built for him. Haha, that was a great day. He's still sad. You know, I still miss my family back on the island. But mostly I feel happy about the memories, not sad. And I really feel like I belong here. It's a beautiful world, friends. And I'm glad to be part of it. All right. Rusty cog, don't need that. Tree fertilizer, hey? I kinda wanna use it on like the stuff that's... Stuff that hasn't grown up very much. Okay, so. Uh, let's go to the, oh, I cut those down too, actually. What the heck, let's do it. Ooh, and this one. No pine cones, huh? All right, let's find the pine cones. There's one. There's two. There's four. Seven. Hmm, is that gonna be enough? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, yeah, actually, it is gonna be enough. Okay, so we got a little bit more wood. Oh, we got some tree here we can get down as well. Great. That looks like it. Oh, one more over there. I'll take it. Okay, so we're up to 1,700 wood now. That's good. That's a good number of woodses. Did I replant a tree here somewhere? I didn't. There we go. Um, okay. So, now we just need... Well, I need 12 more copper bars. I don't know if I should turn the... Uh, the difficulty of the mine back down at this point. I don't know if I should or not. Woodses. I'm trying to sound like a golem. I don't 
what's this? You know, I kind of feel like I should. I mean, as nice as it would be, as nice as it is to get you know, more um, radioactive stuff. Um, I feel like. As much as it would be nice to get radioactive ore, I feel like the more pressing concern. Well, at the moment, well, no, the more pressing, the, the, press, the most pressing concern is still. Ooh, a key gem, key gem, uh, is still. Uh... Oh, resin. So I should probably. not change the mine back. Oh my goodness. Got a skeletal hand from that. Uh oh. Time to go. Not messing around with that. So, could make one bar at least. And let me make, uh, oh I can make two bars. Sweet. And let me throw in one of these, throw in a radioactive ore. There we go. That's two. Uh, that'll give me five. I need another 11. I need 55 copper. I'm just going to go buy it. Really hate to do this, but let's not mess about here. Let's get these kegs going. Uh, shop. 55, there we go. All right, and back to the mine. And let's start throwing it in furnaces. There we go. Okay, so, um, I guess while this stuff is smelting, maybe I will go just quickly grab a screenshot of Cinder Sap. Then I can go back and, uh, the uh, the um, what should be done? Well, everything should be done by the time I get back to the mine. All the stuff in the um, furnaces should be completed. Earth crystals. I feel like I still need some earth crystals for the earth obelisk. Yeah, I need the ten. Let me, let me make sure I have ten before I sell that. Do I have 10 earth crystals? I got one there. I got 10 there. Sweet. Okay, so I can get rid of this earth crystal as well. Uh, I can probably sell the cloth. I could probably process all those. Mm, yeah. All right. Let's quickly grab a screenshot of Cinder Sap, see if we get any artifact spots going. Oh, cutscene. Oh, Paul. The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. I've been trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I've never really thought about. Already with Maru. Well, until now. Hey, those cows are so cute. Hey, I have an idea. Here we go. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. <laughs> There's Haley going full um, influencer. <laughs> There's Haley riding a cow. That seems a little strange. There's Haley being kicked off of a cow. <laughs> Those pictures are worth a thousand words. They definitely tell a story there. Yeah. 
giggle. That was fun, Paul, and these photos are hilarious. Earth Angel. I'm gonna go home. Yeah, that sounds a bit like Earth, Earth Angel, doesn't it? I'm gonna go home and take a shower. Alright, so, screenshot. Mm, yeah, let's blow it up a little bit. Okay, so, we are looking for artifact spots. I don't see any. Nothing down there. Excuse me, I think those are the only places. I don't know if any even spawn on this island here in the middle. I don't know. Okay, nothing there. Um, let me just quickly pop to Ginger Island. Well, I should get some more bar smelting first, I guess. Well, no, it's probably not worth it. Forget it. Let's go to Ginger Island. Check for bone nodes. I keep thinking I need to check for ginger too, but. I really don't. We got the ginger thing done. I gotta make that solar panel though. L and look at all the. Wow! It's 10 ginger right there. Crazy. Come on, prehistoric scapula. Come on, prehistoric scapula. I just really need to get lucky with this prehistoric scapula. I just need to really kind of, oops, kind of just pull one out here. Nothing. It'd be real sad if the last thing I need is a prehistoric scapula, I'll tell you that. Okay, so back to the docks. And uh, we'll head back to Stardew Valley, I guess. I guess I probably should have gone to the farm if that's what I'm doing, but. So when I get back, what am I doing? Ah, uh, yeah, I should go to the farm and sell some stuff I have in my inventory. I will grab these bananas, though. Okay. Alright, so, let's sell some things. Sell the cloth. Sell maybe the spice berry, wild bait. Fossilized leg, bone fragments, mixed seeds, earth crystals, bananas, uh, taro tubers, I guess I can sell. Um, everything else I think I'll hang on to for now. We'll drop the geodes in there. And we'll drop all that stuff in there. Okay, let's go back up to the mine, get some more copper going. Start making some kegs. The goal is still to make all 15 kegs today. And to get star food in them. So that's gonna be that's gonna be important. That's all I have for that. Make some more of those. Okay, 13, so we'll have enough. I have enough copper. I should actually just wait for these to finish. It takes like a half hour. Let's go down the mine for a half hour, see if we can get a bit more, uh... Bit more copper. It's weird that it's like underwater and yet not underwater. Ooh, I got a gold bar there and a mega bomb, that's awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna get, I know I need some more crabs. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. I literally just saw that. That is a little bit terrifying. Make sure I'm walking away from these guys. That feels a bit better. Care about? Not really. Okay. 
Dom! What up, Dom? How you doing, man? What is going on with you? What is up? How are things? What's going on, man? How is absolutely... It has been a while. How is everything? How were your... I mean, the last time we talked, I think you were going into your finals. Like, it's been that long. How, how did finals go? How is everything? How stuff? Talk to me. Let me know what's up. While you do that, I'm going to sell some stuff. Uh, you're in the city. Okay, okay. How's the city? You start selling stuff I don't need. Um... City is busy, full of stuff. Fair enough. That, I imagine, is a very true story. How many solar essence do I need? 50. I've got a... a hundred and fifteen. Although, I guess I could keep some for... Bombs, mega bomb stuff. Uh, just me and my boss. Oh, got a summer internship at a new place. Excellent, excellent. Me and my boss. That's it. Still super hands on, super casual. Nice. That sounds like a pretty sweet internship to me, man. Nice and casual. Just develop a rapport with your boss. Sounds sweet. How long is the internship for? Is it just for like the summer or like. How does that all work? So we got 15 kegs. Right. Let's put these kegs down. Um, exams wise, got my grades back a week ago. Did all right for a second year of three, averaging a decent B, which is all that matters. As long as I finish with a B next year, I'm good to go. Excellent. All counts. The gig for, is for the summer until I have to leave the country. Nice. Sweet. Well, congratulations on the internship. Good job for getting, uh, for keeping your B average. That's sweet, man. That's sweet. Good to hear things are going good. That is good to hear. So do you have this back to the UK? Right. Do you have a date for that? Like, is that that's done and dusted? It's in stone now. I know before with the pandemic and stuff, you're kind of like, eh, hopefully. I mean, although that's probably a while ago, though. Speaking of travels, got my second dose three weeks ago. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, yeah, you got yours before mine because I got mine two weeks ago this past Monday because Monday was my... Uh, Monday was my congratulations, you're vaccinated day. Or your, like, protected day, I should say. So, sweet, dude. That's awesome. That'll help you in the UK. The UK is hit and miss. UK is a little bit hit and miss. Alright, so I need to grab more ore. Let's go work on iron. Uh, hit and miss, but at least I can hopefully enjoy normal school year. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Being vaccinated is going to be a huge help. That's sweet, man. That's awesome. Well, hopefully the internship goes well. Like, hopefully it's all... It's everything you could possibly ask for. I legit just want this one year to be like normal and you can do whatever I want. I know, right? It's like housing prices. I keep thinking, like, you know what? If people can just, like, not realize how great a place to live my place to live is, 
if people can still kind of still think of it as Colonus poor cousin for a little bit longer, then uh, then the property values can go through the roof, and then I won't care. Yeah, but that's sweet, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been uh, super preoccupied lately with uh, everything. But hopefully things will start slowing down for me a little bit. I can get back to, like, enjoying my life. Uh, the internship is super informal. I just met the bo I literally just met the boss since he was doing a job for my dad, and he finished the same school as me, so I asked him if I could shadow work with him for the summer as experience, and he was like, sure, come on Wednesday. That's how I started. <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome. That is awesome. So is it like a particular type, because it's law, right? Like you're, it's law stuff. Is it a particular type of law? Are you like a, a law specialist yet? Specializing in law? Real estate? Okay, sweet, sweet. Very nice. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it'd be hard to like, I imagine, anyway, I mean, not knowing anything about lawyers or lawyering. Um, it seems to me like real estate law would be a pretty safe bet. It's good since it's mainly straightforward and always closes. I mean, yeah, right? So, seems like a sweet deal to me, man. Alright, I'm just gonna get out of here for now. Before I die. There we go. Okay, we have one bar. I'm gonna throw another one in there. Anything else? 38 iron. Very nice. Uh, so we'll come back tomorrow with the rest of this iron. And uh, yeah. Maybe I'll try to grab a little bit more copper, maybe. I was going to come by and watch a stream about two weeks ago, but you were taking a break. From <laughs> yeah, yes, it's true. I was off for a couple of weeks. Um, I was indeed off for a couple of weeks. Did a bit of a summer vacation to tour, tour around a little bit. Got to see some family and whatever else. So it was good. It was a good break. It was tiring because it was a lot of travel, but, uh, but it was good. Got the vlog. Well, not really a vlog. I posted a little video um, for what it's worth. Which isn't much. Um, on 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 the tubes. I did post a little video up on the tubes of some some highlight moments. I was hoping to get some copper, but not getting anything right now. So let's throw some iron in. How's the heat up in BC? Wi Fi is going crazy? Yes. Yes they are. We've got firefighters from Quebec here right now. We've got firefighters from Mexico here right now. It's a little bit wild right now, um, but I mean, you know, what do you do? The years are kind of hit and miss. It kind of comes and goes. Some years will be bad. Like last year wasn't too bad, obviously, partly because we had fewer lightning storms, but partly because um, people are not setting fires. Mexico, God's sake, we'll let you them. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, very kind of, of Mexico to send people up for us just to help because we're stretched so thin right now. It was uh, pretty sweet that, uh, that they did that for us. And Quebec as well, of course. Very kind for them to, to send some folks out for us just to help us help kind of backfill a little bit because things are just so crazy. But, uh, but yeah. So, yeah, the fires are wild. Quebec. What did I say? Did I say Quebec? Um, Quebec. Bust up. Um, and the smoke, too. It's like well, there are a, a whole bunch of fires around where I live. One of them's actually not too far away from where I live. Um, but I mean, a fire is a fire. It's going to happen. I'm making a joke there. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, 
a fire is a fire. It's going to happen. But it's, it's the smoke that's kind of making me the most sad because it just means less time outside, right? Like, it just means less time playing pickleball, effectively. They say K, so I was like, K back. sell anything else I could like sell those slightly hazy here in Toronto since we do have some fires in Thunder Bay oh okay yeah I think that our closest fire is probably like 10 kilometers away or something like that my closest significant fire I mean the good news is that uh since it's far even with the wind spray spill, yeah it was crazy we were out yesterday and on the way back home I guess the wind had shifted and uh, we were really seeing like, the smoke was, like, crazy. Like, if you could get up... It was really... Because, like, there's a hill that way. And if you could go over that hill, you'd probably be able to see it. So, slightly Toronto where though. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's 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 wild. It was pretty wild seeing... You could see the where the pillar of smoke was lift coming up from, you know, behind the hill. Um, yeah, so, it was, it was pretty wild. It was pretty wild to see. Uh, all right, so I think we're probably pretty good, I think. Uh, let me make another... If I have enough wood. I don't. I need seven more hardwood. Don't have time to get it right now. We'll grab seven more hardwood tomorrow and we'll... Uh, make another heavy tapper. We also had a tornado north of my old town a week ago. Sweet. BC starting to sound more like California. I know, right? Yeah, it's it's pretty bad here this year, but I don't know. Hopefully next year, hopefully things will quiet down a little bit. We've kind of um, had a little bit of a reprieve. Um, <gasps> roasted hazelnuts. Kent loves roasted hazelnuts. And it's good luck. Let me make some roasted hazelnuts right now. I should have the hazelnuts for it. There they are, beautiful. In fact, I can make a bunch. Let's make two. Give Kent both of those this week. Hooray for Rosa Hazelnuts. I need to make sure I harvest all these um, starfruit today as well, actually. That's going to be a thing that needs to get, that needs to happen. Uh, my letter from Haley. 270 gold. Thanks, Pierre. Uh, that is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, so we don't particularly care about. I'm gonna grab some hardwood and make myself another heavy tapper. Can't believe how far you've gotten in this playthrough. I will, I will still say I've missed Tarji's atmosphere. I mean, you know what? It's not bad right now, to be honest with you. Like, I'm still, I'm still really super RNG dependent, unfortunately. Like, I still need, um, I still need to get lucky with some stuff. Which is quite sad. Um, but I'm not feeling terrible about it. I mean, I still need to get a ton of money. The money is a huge concern. But I'm almost on the friendship. Um, the cooking, I have to wait. The crafting, I'm pretty close as well. Well, actually, I can show you how close I am. So, th this is there's all the stuff I have left to do. So, I've got to cook... Um, Three, six, nine more recipes. Uh, oh, I just made roasted hazelnuts, so eight more recipes. Um, gotta get the obelisks. Make a few. Oh, I can make a solar panel now. Make a few other things. Like, so things are going pretty well that way. These quests are just gonna happen. They're just, they just are. That's they're all, all story-based kind of timing quests. So like, there's not much left to do. Um, but I still need the money to buy all the obelisks and buy all the you know, buy the golden clock and whatever else, so... And unfortunately, I've had to spend a bunch of money on, um... Maybe I'll harvest all this stuff right now. I've had to spend a bunch of money on, uh... You know, buying ore and whatever, whatever else, so... It's not going to be perfect, but we'll get there.
hopefully it all comes together in the end. The, I say, I, I, as far as I can remember, there's only one thing that I'm kind of like just praying the Stardew Gods to smile on me. There's one RNG thing I have left, and that is the prehistoric scapula. Which I somehow need to get my hands on. So I'm just going to do another grab a little screenshot here. But yeah, we're so close with like gifts and everything. Ugh, it's so good. I'm going to be so glad once the gifting is over with. I'm kind of telling myself that once the gifting is done, I'll spend more time in um, in the desert doing skull cavern runs. Because I still need a lot of iridium. So... There's one artifact spot. It's probably not worth going for, but... Can't afford to take the chance. So yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Praying the Stardew RNG Goss is the way that is. That's a quote. Praying to the Stardew RNG Gods is the way life goes. Alright. I, I put dome instead on the inside. Whoops, I'm dumbass. Um... And I'll throw the quote list up there as well. I will fix that. Uh, I'll fix that later. So it actually says your name properly. Dome El Mayo. Dome El Mayo. Uh, okay, so... Fix quote. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't want to say the whole run hinges on that, because, I mean, really, a lot of other things have to happen before before I can finish up as well, but, like, before I can finish, period. I should probably make that solar panel now before I forget, though. Not that it matters too much, I mean, eventually I'll see that I haven't made something and I'll go make it, but, but yeah, the, uh, I really need to, uh, I really need to, um, what do I need to do? Whatever it is, it's a lot of it. That's what it is. I really need to, um, get the friendship done. That'll be a huge help. And then once that's done, which hopefully, if I'm lucky, should only take me a couple of weeks, I would think, because I'm almost on everybody. I should have Penny nailed down this week. I got love gifts for Kent now. So I'm going to be super close. So the gifting, I'm not worried about. The friendship, I'm not worried about. Quick question. Have you heard the typical Cisco hold music? Oh, probably. We use Cisco at my work, so I'm pretty sure I have. It is kind of funny when you're, like, calling a place and they put you on hold. And you're like, oh, hey, I recognize this music. Super trippy. I should really get rid of that fish pond. I really don't care about the fish right now. It's like, what are they... Do I need to have the fish pond for anything? I don't feel like I do. I mean, I've definitely um, done everything with the fish I need to, so... I suppose a little piece of uh, a little row, a little fish eggs, not gonna hurt anything. So, but the thing that's cool is that it was made by a 16-year-old in his parents' garage back in '89. He allowed his friend who got a job at Cisco in the '90s to use the music for new IP phones. Oh, sweet! That's awesome. Hope he got. Hope he got royalties for it. He'd be like rolling in if he was gonna get royalties for that. Um, yeah, funny story. I have been Tim Carlton, Opus Number One. Nice. Um, so I we recently bought a bathroom scale because part well for a number of reasons, but partly because um, my driver's license expires in January, and uh, so I. I kind of need to know how much I weigh so when I go in there. I, like, how much do you weigh? I can be like, here's how much I weigh instead of, I have no idea. Um, oh, inventory is full. So, why do I think to go? Did you gain some weight? They asked. <laughs> it's like, wow, Paul, 
Oh, you really let yourself go. Um, anyway, so let me sell some stuff here. Sorry, I can't talk and sell at the same time apparently. Uh, okay, sell that, sell that. Make another heavy tapper. Let's just sell those. Heavy tapper. Uh, anyway, so we buy the scale. It's like, it's, it's a schmancy one, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles and all the measurements and stuff, so... It gives you, like, body fat percentage, body, you know, muscle, weight, or water weight, whatever else. And, uh, I had to renew mine a month ago and they asked for my address. Then again, I'm in Ontario, not in BC. Yeah, well, yeah, they always confirm the address and stuff, but, um... But yeah, so we buy the scale. So the good news is, I weigh... I weighed less... Well... I had a doctor's appointment that I had to actually go into a doctor's office recently to to attend to. And uh, I weighed myself, there's a scale there, so I'm like, oh man, I haven't weighed myself in years. <laughs> Let me weigh myself, see what it is. So the good news is I weighed less than I thought I did. Because I thought I was going to be, I mean, looking at myself, I would think like, man, this, I probably weigh like, you know, 170, 180. Um, but I actually weigh 165 right now. Or I did at the time. Right for Skinny Paul. Well, that's a thing. The good news is that, yes, I weighed less than I thought I would. The bad news is my body fat percentage is higher than I'd like. So that's my goal is to drop body fat. The problem with that is I really like peanut butter. You begin to see the problem. So we'll see how it goes. So I basically weigh myself once a week. Um, and... Uh, Wednesday morning is the weigh myself once a week day. So tomorrow morning we'll see. I kind of haven't really been. If you look at the most skinny person, oh thank you. Peanut butter's the bomb. Peanut butter is the sole reason I wake up. <laughs> um, that's another quote. I'm quoting that one too actually. Unquote. Peanut butter is the sole reason I wake up. This time I'll type it right. Dom is dead on the inside. Um, so yeah, peanut butter. Um, can you do some gifting and stuff? Do, do I need hazelnuts for anything else? Anyway, the point is that I weigh myself once a week so I can kind of know you know, what's going on with, with that. I kind of want to see the trend over time. I don't really care about like if I'm up, up, up one day, down one day, that doesn't bother me. But I do kind of want to know over time what's happening. So, um... Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's my weigh myself day. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. And I, I haven't been, um... I haven't really been, like, limiting myself lately. Like, I've been... I still try to, like, not overeat and stuff, but I haven't been, like, super, super conscious of, um... Inventory's gonna be full. I haven't been super conscious of what I've been eating. I've just been like, you know, generally keeping aware, trying to not overeat, but at the same time not depriving myself. So just so I can get a baseline and really see, okay, how bad, how bad is it? So tomorrow, if my weight and or body fat percentage, I'm not gonna have this inventory space to do everything in here. Um, let's come back. If my weight and or body fat percentage are increasing, then I'll know I'll really have to, like, okay, be, basically do better next week than I did this week, right? And keep going that way. So, it's that kind of thing. Um, and it's just tough, because I just don't exercise as much as... I don't do as much cardio as I used to back when we lived in, in Prince George because I don't play basketball as much. We were playing pickleball, but it's been so smoky with the fires and stuff, we haven't been playing much pickleball. So we haven't been able, been able to get outside to play. So... And there aren't really any great indoor places to play. Well, actually, there are no indoor... Well, yeah, there aren't any great indoor places to play right now. So it's kind of not great. But we'll see. We'll see how, uh, how things look tomorrow. Keep you posted. Speaking of food, uh, just as a reminder to everybody, I am playing Overcooked with its Belgian waffle tomorrow. We're gonna do a co-stream tomorrow night, so tune in for some Overcookedness. I need to get back into hardcore push-ups at home more than what I am right now, which is nothing. <laughs> hey, that's me. Hey, you're here too. What's going on, Belgian waffle? 
Yes, tomorrow that is the plan. We are going to do some more cook. So tune in for that. It's going to be a thing. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what that thing is, but it's definitely going to be a thing. Okay, that's all good. I need to do some gifting. I should probably go do some gifting right now, actually. Um, yeah, let's go do that. Anything I can sell right now? No, but I do need more ore to make more kegs. Mm. Unfortunate. Uh, I get to stream with the main man that's probably her streaming. Well, that's awesome, dude. Thanks for saying. I also forgot to ask, how's Diane doing? There's Diane also being busy as always. Yes, she is definitely keeping herself very busy. Um... Oh, you may have missed it earlier. We bought a new car. Well, new, new to us. It is used, but... Um, we picked up a Nissan Leaf. So we have our first electric car. So that's all exciting stuff. Okay, where the heck is Kent? Tell her I said hi. I will do that. I'll do that. She'll appreciate that. Oops, I just can't spell Kent, apparently. So it is... A, what's the date today? It's a Sunday. At home, the Kenyan Pier General's. Oh, it's Sunday. So he's he's at uh, the shrine to Yoba. Nissan Leaf. You know what? It's electric, which is better than nothing, so it's a win win, I guess. The thing about it is that, like, she just um, goes to and from work. That's literally all she does. She just goes to and from work. And. Uh, Um, so, like, having an electric car just to kind of boot around town in, perfect for her. Just absolutely perfect. Um, so, her car, I was going to say it's an interesting choice, but it makes sense to commute. Yeah, exactly. Like, we still have my car, my, my old school gas-powered car, um, for long trips and that sort of thing, and, uh her gas-powered car that we just traded in um, was in fantastic shape, super low mileage, like, she wasn't even doing 5,000 kilometers a year in it, so it's, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's like new. The um, the car we bought, so we, we traded it in 2016. The car we bought is a 2020, and the 2020 car that we bought has more kilometers on it than... 2016 that we traded in. That's how few kilometers she does. So we kind of thought, okay, well, it's good value on, uh, there's Penny. You know, we got good value. We can get good value for this car if we're going to get rid of it. Um, and, uh, we get an electric car. It's less maintenance, less than fuel. Have to do payments again, but this car will probably last forever in a day anyway, so it's like, why the heck not? Um, and here I thought she got the new Tesla Model S flat. We did look at Tesla, so we kind of decided we're going to go electric. We did look at some, um, you know, Tesla's uh, Mini makes an electric Mini, so we looked at that. Um, but everything just kind of worked out in terms of uh, is that a fire tracker here. Yes, it is. Everything kind of worked out really well. Um, the Nissan was cheaper as well. So, so we got eight hearts with Elliot. We're real close with Ken. We've maxed out Penny. We have maxed out Penny. So I'm gonna take Penny off my list. So I literally just have Kent and Elliot and then Maru once we propose, which I will do on the second of the latest. So that is sweet. We are super close with the friendship stuff. Um, anyway, so yeah, long story short, they actually had they had a, like a top spec leaf at the dealership in town, something that we would have been looking for anyways, kind of thing. So it all just worked out, came together, whatever you want to call it, and yeah, picked it up today. So it is in the garage right now. It's all jolly exciting stuff. All right, what can I sell? Can I sell anything? Sell that and sell that. All right, let's go inside. 
Coffee's done. Excellent. And let's throw the honey in there as well. Do that. Okay, just sold the cookies, I guess, but oh well. Um, let's put that in the oil maker. I kind of want to get the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Yeah, the Cybertruck, it looks, it's interesting for sure. It definitely looks kind of cool. I don't know how, um, I mean, it'll be an incredible vehicle. Let's be honest. Like, it's not going to be a bad vehicle. Hopefully it doesn't get too old too fast. The Halo Warthog changed my mind. <laughs> I know I'm going to change around. It's totally the Halo Warthog. Drop this keg in here somewhere. Like there. It's cool looking for sure into electric, so yeah, I don't mind. It's true. It's true. Here's the thing. If if there's no... um, We don't have a hydrogen fueling station in the town I live in, which is quite sad. Because if we had a hydrogen fueling station, I would buy a, a Toyota Mirai in a second. Oh, good idea, Dom. Thank you. Toyota Mirai. Hydrogen car. Hydrogen powered car. Um, and yeah, I would totally buy one in a heartbeat. Because um, I think, I personally think hydrogen's a better bet. I, th I kind of think electric's a bit of a stopgap until hydrogen really, you know, becomes a bit more ubiquitous. Just because, I mean, hydrogen is literally the most abundant element in the known universe. We're not, never going to run out of hydrogen. Um, just because I want to spend some toys before I got off. Bro, I'm so saving 50000 for the cooking stream. Well, I think Dom or Andrew Hetzel might beat you. Hydrogen will take some time. Yeah. The, th the thing about that, though, is that, like, there's no hydrogen fueling station here, but there is in the town in Kelowna, which is two hours away. There's a bunch in Vancouver. There's one in Victoria. Like, we just happen to not live in a place that that would work for. But um, I definitely like the idea of it. And, uh... But it's a chicken and egg thing, right? No one's going to put in the in put in the effort to, to build the infrastructure until cars get sold and no one's going to buy a car until it's infrastructure, so it's kind of... 29k right now, nice. Been barely on the past few months. Hey, life happens. Alright, I'm going to put this uh, tapper up here somewhere. Ooh, we have more oak resin. That is... I mean, good, but bad, because I don't have enough ore. I can make 18 more kegs, but I have zero, zero copper and zero iron on me. That's unfortunate. Uh, adulting is hard. Yeah, there are definitely easier things in the world, I'll tell you that. That's the one disadvantage of uh, doing this whole car thing. It's like, now we have car payments again. It's quite sad. We were, at least for like, you know, a year and a half, two years, completely, except for our, like, debt-free except for our mortgage, and now we have a big, uh, a big car payment, which isn't great, but, you know, what do you do? Being L is no simple job, yeah. Uh, how many more things do I need? Check up. Uh, 12 a.m. here need to be up at 7. Sounds like bedtime to me. Guys, leave. Alright, Dom, man, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Congrats on the internship. Good luck with it. Hope you get a chance to stop in again before, uh, before you're off to the UK. But yes, I will absolutely say hi to Diane for you. We'll absolutely do that. Have a good one, man. All right, so more triple shot. Probably hop on the one for mid-September. Sweet, sweet. I'm out. Have a good one, man. See you later. You know what? Honestly, I'm so close. To I only needed ten slimes when I started this day, so I think I might just finish the slime thing right now. There's some iron or copper. Well, technically, I should be going for iron because. 
Because really, copper's cheaper to buy. Uh, all right, so let's throw in five bars. I mean, hey, you know what? It'll be five bars. And then, ooh, actually, let me throw in another radioactive bar thing. And then, that stuff can go there. Get my inventory organized a bit here. That stuff can all go there. Um, so I'll be able to make, hmm. It's 8 p.m. I can't even, I can't even really go buy any more copper though, because it's 8 p.m. So I guess I'm kind of stuck with whatever I can get here in the mine today. Should I gift everybody I need to gift? Can't gift Maru. Max out Penny. Yes, I did. Okay. We are so, I'm so happy about being done with friendship. Good gravy. So happy about that. Just gonna walk by these guys. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. And but then it's gonna be Skull Cavern runs. Cause I need so much iridium right now. So much room that I don't have. I mean, the good news is that hopefully, um... How have I not got that Monster Slayer goal yet? That's my question. How have I not killed 10 slimes yet today in-game? The good news is, while I'm getting Iridium, hopefully I'll get a decent amount of, um... There we go. Got him. Hopefully I'll get a decent amount of iron and copper and stuff as well, so... Fingers crossed. Alright, let's try and find a ladder here. There's one. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has begun. I might skip that. Uh, should I skip that? Should I not skip that? I don't know. Um, Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Does anything happen here that I care about? I can buy some stuff that I don't care about. Um, I think it's literally just the thing that you do thing. Yeah, it's just a thing. Okay. It's just an event, so I think I'm going to skip that. Let's get back and get some more stuff smelting. Do I have one piece of iron in here? Oh, I have two. Perfect. A couple more bars. Very nice. Uh, I guess I'll go after some copper again. Uh, let's try level 10. Introvert mode. Activate. Looking for copper. There's a little bit of it. Need to kill that crab, though. Still got a bunch of crabs I gotta kill. Actually, this fiber's gonna be good too. So I can make some more tree fertilizer. Like we're getting through this slowly but surely. We're we're grinding this out. Four. Oh, there's five. I can make one bar. All right, so let me have a look at this here. Is there anything else I can do? I kind of feel like this stuff should come back with me to go to the desert. And I guess the stone as well. Uh, I might go home and come back. I might do that. This quartz I might just sell to. I don't think I need quartz for anything, do I? No, just 10 refined quartz for something. Oh, hold on. No, yeah, 10 refined quartz for something or other. Which I think I must have somewhere. I probably have it in my uh, ingredients chest. And there's one right there. Uh, I got 16. Sweet. All right. 
Let's do this. Get rid of one of those. And let's throw in... Uh, let's not throw in the radioactive ore. I'm going to keep that on me and make another heavy tapper. Uh, tomorrow we want to do some gifting, but I don't need the diamond for that. I need an emerald and roasted hazelnuts. Um, let me sell some stuff here. Let's get some stuff out of my inventory. Alright, so... Sell, sell, sell. Sell that. Sell the common mushroom. Sell the pine cones. Green algae, rice shoot, sea urchin, bat wings, cookie, bug meat, quartz, coral. I think I still need 10 coral, right? For the, uh... I need 10. Do I have 10 coral? I'm pretty sure I have 10. Pretty sure I've got 10. Oh! 10 right there. Sweet. So you can sell the coral I've got. And I think that's about it. So let's put some stuff in here for the desert. I just drop all that stone in there too. So I can make some more stairs if I need to. Let's make another five kegs. Get them inside the house. Do I have any more coffee on me? I don't. Alright. There we go. Fill them up later. Um, so that's all looking good. Let me run back to the mine real quick. Actually, let me deal with this first. I shouldn't deal with this first. I should probably just go to the mine first, but... Oh, well, too late. Get myself some more triple shots. Okay, so um, let's go to the mine. We'll grab whatever ore is finished. We'll replenish it with whatever we can replenish it with, but I don't think it's anything, actually. But we'll grab what we can grab. And, uh, there we go. Bunch of iron. Yeah, there's nothing more I can make, which is unfortunate, but it's all right. Make myself another keg. All right, and let's head back to the house for the night. Go sell some stuff here. We're gonna sell the refined quartz, sell the truffle oil. Um so, that, so we really just need a bunch of copper right now. That's the biggest need. Now tomorrow's the first day of so tomorrow's gonna be Yeah, tomorrow's first day of fall, so tomorrow is going to be um um uh, pumpkin day. And I want to put down fertilizer as well. Maybe I'll go grab all that stuff real quick. Grab all the fertilizer, grab all the pumpkin seeds. Try and get this stuff done. All right, try try and make that money. I try and make that money. Here we go. We are officially in fall. I have two months left to pull this off. And a bunch of star fruits. Wine is done. But I have to plant today. I don't have a choice. Yeah, planting is more important. G gifting is not important. Planting is important. I have to plant today. Do not have a choice because it has to go in the ground today or else I'm not going to be able to get that third... Um, that third harvest... Oh no! I gotta hoe everything and water it. Oh no. Am I gonna be able to do that? Am I gonna be able to hoe and water 600 spots today? Hmm. I don't know. I do not entirely know. So, I mean, here we go, right? We'll grab the scythe. I mean, I guess I'll just like kind of sweep through and and uh, deal with everything in turn, I guess. Yeah, that. Oh man, I did not think it was gonna be this bad. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be great, but I was hoping it'd be a little better than this. 
like I knew that was gonna be there's gonna be like you know some spots that weren't didn't survive and whatever but like yike it may have been worth it for me to uh to plant wheat just to waste wheat and just get it planted oh all right well here we go at least I have animation canceling that'll help speed it up a little bit the watering is gonna suck but I mean Watering is really gonna suck. Oh well. Do what we can. It, I mean, it, it has to go in the ground today. This might be a reset day if, if uh, I have to get everything in the ground today. Like, it's all gotta be in there and watered and fertilized. And if I don't do that, then today's a reset. Fracking. I'm just not sure. Well, the problem is that if I don't succeed at this, this might be a couple of resets, but if I don't succeed at this, I wasted all the money on the fertilizer, right? Like that's that's the big problem. So that ultimately, oh my goodness, just don't worry about cleaning stuff up. Let's just get this done. Um, ultimately, like this is would have been a huge waste of money to do uh, to buy all that fertilizer. So let's see. Uh, no, you know what? I do need to, to unhoe that piece of land because it will screw me up when I'm trying to get everything planted. Okay, that's that area done. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, now it's done. 1020. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Unfortunately, this area is larger than the other area. The things I do for money. Of course, I can literally do nothing else today. Like unless I get just unless I get super lucky and everything just magically comes together, this is my day right here. Gotta keep on my food as well. Pretty low. At least you don't have to worry about uh, like hoeing up sprinklers anymore. That's a, that's a that's a nice touch. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat here pretty quick. All right, let's eat. Uh, let's eat some apricots. So it's noon. Oh, we actually might be okay. I might be able to pull this off. Um, uh, the watering, though. Yeah, I'll get everything hoed. So the question is, what's more important? Um, should I get everything planted and fertilized and then water it? Or should I water first? I should probably water first, because it needs to get water today, too. Like, I can't... I can't not water today either. Like everything, all three of these things, the hoeing and the watering and the uh, planting and the fertilizing all needs to get done today. So there's really no. There's really no. Uh, no way to get around that.
We must accomplish this today. What? Oh, whoops, screw that up. Don't feel like I have the same rhythm I had once I started when I started. Let's get this edge done. Okay. Part of the problem is that the timing on the hoeing is different depending on which direction you're facing. So it's kind of, uh, it's like if you're facing down, it's not great. Um, oh, actually, I don't need that one still. If you're facing down, it's a bit slower than if you're facing sideways. And I can't remember which is faster between facing up or for sideways. And I think facing one direction is also slower than the other direction. I can't remember which one is which, but... My reaction times aren't good enough to get into a proper rhythm. <laughs> no, idea. no idea where I was hoeing there. Okay. This is... It's three o'clock already. And I have to water everything. Okay. So we just got everything hoed. Now I need to water everything. I should probably eat some stuff here. Let's do some more eating first. Whew. This is a little bit nerve-wracking, actually. Hopefully I don't have to reset this day. Hopefully I can get away with it all, but... It's gonna be tight, I think. I mean, at least some of these spots have some water on them, so I won't have to completely water everything, but... All right, let's do this. Let's do it from right here. Let's not waste any time. Already wasted time. I mean, no way I'm doing this without animation canceling, right? Like, absolutely no way. Okay, I'm just confusing myself. Let's just do this. And at least I can... Um, the good news is I can water where I'm standing now, though. So that's good. I don't have to worry about moving to, uh... Oh, need water. Don't have to worry about moving to do this, so that's good. Oof. That took me that long just to do that. We're just trying to get dark. It doesn't help that I keep missing either. That's kind of not great. Crap. I should keep forgetting I need to go back and forth so I can... Uh... I need to go back and forth so that I can actually refill my watering can. Keep forgetting about that. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up again because now I'm not going to make it back to the pond before I run out. Whoops. Oh, coffee. Health is still doing okay. Oops. Couple screw-ups there, that's alright. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by watering. Like, I'll do what I can. I may not get everything planted and watered and everything in today. Um, but if I don't get something fertilized... That's actually kind of okay, because if it's just going to be regular growing time, I'll have an extra day, like I'll have a day to play with or whatever. So whatever I don't get done today, basically plant without fertilizer tomorrow. Um, be a bit of a waste, which isn't great, because I'll definitely have... Um, I shouldn't be doing that. I'll definitely have deluxe fertil extra deluxe fertilizer that I don't. I'm not gonna have anything. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it. Um, but what do you do? But I think yeah, I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this area. I'm gonna get this area watered. And uh, once I have this finished, I will plant and fertilize this area, and then the upper area I'll just do as I can, I guess. Oh, come on. There we go. Eight fifty PM already. That's what I get for not planting wheat. Would've been way easier if I just planted wheat. Although no, I think I just screwed up the timing in general there because even if I had planted wheat, um it wouldn't have been ready and I probably would have had to hold up. Like I wouldn't have been able to side it if it's not ready. So Okay, refill that. All right, pause. Yike. Get everything planted. Ten PM. Wow. I'm just I'm barely gonna get half of this stuff done. Like I'm just gonna get half of it. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do any um, winter forage, like winter seeds planting, but I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to have to do that, just to make a little bit extra money in the winter. I wonder if I should have fertilized first. Hard to say. Should be able to at least get this area done, hopefully. Oh man, alive! This is bad. Yike. Well, so much for that, I guess. Rip me. And I don't really feel like I was like that. I don't feel like I did that badly today. Like I don't feel like I was. I mean, yeah, there were some moments that were kind of not great, but I don't feel like I was being super inefficient, or... Like, I feel like things went decently well. I don't, I don't feel like if I were to reset, I would do much better, I guess, is what it comes down to. Just hope I can get all this done before, before 2 a.m. Shot. Getting a little bit sloppy here. I should hopefully be able to get all this done before 2 a.m. At least have this section done. It's not going to be... I mean, hopefully I got enough of it. 
I'm not going to know until tomorrow because it's too dark to tell now. Okay, well. Oh crap, I'm so much stuff here. I was hoping to be able to plant a few more seeds up in the top section, and I still will. Like, I'll still get some of them planted. Can I do... Oh, I they can't... Hmm. have to water first, though. Can I get, like, eight more done? Every little bit helps, right? Okay, well, I mean, that's as far as we're getting. Can I make it home in time? Nope. <laughs> Crap, that's kind of not great. And I'm going to have to rehoe a bunch of that area, too, because I wouldn't have... Uh... <sighs> yeah, I don't think... I'm pretty sure there is no point in me doing this now. Pumpkin with Deluxe Speed Grow. Yeah, no. Because if you do Deluxe Speed Grow... Uh, with pumpkins. It finishes on the 28th. So yeah, there's no point in me doing it now. That's too bad. Oh well. What do you do? Oh, I feel like I can make a new recipe now. I feel like I can make the super meal or something. I feel like I have the recipe for it anyways. Uh, where would that be? If I were a super meal, where would I be? Uh, hello? Do I not have the ingredients I need for it? Okay, let me actually look at this in terms of... I was looking at the name instead of looking to make sure... Looking to see what I've cooked. I'm quite sure I've made a pink cake already. Maybe I'll reset that day. Let's do that just to be safe. I must have reset that day. Okay. Oh, hold on. What's this? Super meal. There we go. I need an artichoke. Oh, yeah. Wait. Did I... I put some in the greenhouse. Where did I put those artichokes? Hope I didn't sell them. Okay, anyway. I need an artichoke. Um, then I can make the super meal. I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I need an artichoke. Alright, well, at least a bunch of this stuff is watered now, so that's good. Got some, uh, a little bit of quality fertilizer. Thanks, Jody. Alright, so. Oh, let me triple shot this here. Just going to hoe up what I need to hoe up, and then we'll water what we need to water, and then, unfortunately, we'll just plant regular old pumpkins. I mean, the good news is that, like, the, that bottom section is a lot bigger than this section, so, um... The good news is that, you know, I'll st I'm still gonna have, you know, more than I would have had I not done the, like, speed grow, so I can't complain about that, it's just too bad I... Yeah, I'm not sure what I would have done, though. Like, I would have had to... And it would have been super... If I, if I would have had to go through and, um... Like, hit everything with a pickaxe or something, that would have been pretty sketchy, so... Uh, oh, missed one... Would have been a little bit sketchy if I had to do that. I was just thinking, because if I'd planted wheat, the wheat would have survived the transition to fall. Um, but then I wouldn't have been able to side the wheat up. I would have had to... probably pickaxe it up, which of course then still takes a long... I mean, I guess it would still take less time to pickaxe everything than it would take to 
hoe and water and plant and fertilize. So in that sense, yeah, probably would have been worth it for me to grab the star for a day early and spend the money on the wheat and just lose the wheat. Oh well, so I have 186 deluxe speed grow that I have no purpose for. Uh, Alright, so that's all done and we're all planted up. Um, quick check of my, make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. We are in fall now. So... Ginger Island star fruit is done on the 6th. Um, first batch of pumpkins is done on the 10th. Uh, first pumpkins done. And then we also have, so I planted these pumpkins on the 2nd. So that batch is done on the 15th. Fall 10, fall 15, second pumpkin batch. Done. Okay. Great. Um, let's deal with some inventory here. Deal with all that. Uh, so I need, still need to gift people. I need to gift um, Penny. Actually, it's, who is it? It's like Penny and... Penny, Elliot, and Maru. I will check for a loved gift. Uh, check and see if... Um, there's a duck feather I can give to Elliot. Uh, sell that. Sell those. Give that to Kent. Okay. Oh, we have, we have pomegranates now. That's right, it's fall. So I can give Elliot pomegranates, and that will uh, that will definitely help things work. I think what I should also do is um, go buy whatever I need for iron and copper to get through all of these uh, oak resins. Because I do happen to know that uh, a bunch of things are done. A bunch of... Uh, I thought I had grown some artichokes. It's not good if I didn't, actually. I wonder if that was a reset day or something. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, how many artichokes do I need still? Let's have a look. Uh, according to this, I just need the one. I must have sold it by accident. You know what I probably did? I probably did sell it by accident. I probably made two. One for a recipe, one to ship. I probably shipped them both. Crap, so I need an artichoke. Um, I don't need anything else. Okay, so we'll grab grab an artichoke from... Uh... I mean, the good news is it'll grow fast, I guess. Disappointed in myself that I sold it. Oh, well. I mean, I will check my other chests and things and just make sure I didn't stick it somewhere by accident, but I probably sold it. Uh, it doesn't look like anything is in here is artichokey. So I've got 32 oak resin. That's awesome. I just need the... Uh... Or to go along with it. Okay, I should have left the star fruit in the greenhouse. Not sure why I didn't. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's come in here. I'm gonna leave the star fruit behind just to get out of my inventory. Uh, let me grab the coffee. Let's make some coffee. as well, just to get through a bit faster. Put that in there, just to make a bit of money. Okay. Um, that's all looking good. I will also throw an ancient fruit in one of these kegs once it's all done. Okay, let's sell some stuff. Oh, 
I'll grab those pomegranates as well. That pomegranate's going straight to Elliot. Um, all looks pretty good at the moment. That's this pom this pomegranate tree is actually going to be a lifesaver for me. That's going to speed things up with Elliot a lot. So let's um, so Kent and Elliot, I think, and is that it? It's just Kent and Elliot. So we've maxed out Penny and Maru. I just need to propose, which I need a rainy day for. I guess I could use the rain totem today. I have a rain totem somewhere. It's here. Let me just make sure it's not going to rain tomorrow. No. Okay. It's going to rain now. Perfect. Okay, so tomorrow I must make sure I don't screw that up and not get the mermaid's pendant. So I still need time to uh, actually get Maru to 14 hearts. So, gotta make sure I do that. So we've got a pomegranate for Elliot. We've got roasted hazelnuts for Kent. That's literally all I'm doing. Probably, I definitely don't need to do that, but I'm doing it anyway, so I can't help it. Alright. Hopefully Kent is going to be by the river down here. There's Elliot. Don't see Kent there. Let's give this to Elliot. Tropical fish, prime produce. Nope. Neither of those is happening. Check the friendship. Two hearts away with Elliot. Very good. Gotta find Kent now. Where would Kent be? Tuesday and fall. Kent. Uh, regular schedule. Leaves home stands under a tree just north of his house. Whoops. So he's up here somewhere. Or supposed to be. He's not there. Regular schedule. It's a Tuesday in fall. What time is it? 10, 12, 30. Oh, returns home standing in his living room. Crap. <laughs> standing in his living room. Coffee. Okay. How are we doing? Still three hearts with Kent. Kent will be a little bit, but Elliot, we're going to be... So, Elliot, I mean, we're going to be laughing now that we have pomegranates growing. Okay, so that's done. Let's go to... Um, let's go see... Well, let's, let's go to the mine first, because I can't remember what I put in the furnaces at the mine. We'll see what I put in there, if I get any more iron or copper. I don't think I had any more iron or copper, I'm not sure. Hopefully I did, but I'm not sure that I... No, actually, no, I definitely don't think I did. I'll double check, but... And then we're just going to buy whatever we need. Um, mines. Nothing. So, bus stop. That's not what I want. I want town. So, we need... 22 more... Um, what's 32 times 5? 150, 160, so I need 160 copper, and I need 22 times 5, which is, well, 20 times 5 is 100, 10. So 160 copper, 110 iron, 160 copper, and 110 iron. Am I going to have enough? I should do. Okay. Go get the stuff smelting immediately. Do a bit of each here. Okay. Um, with that on the go, let's go back to the house. I should probably grab some star fruit, maybe? I probably should, yeah. Like, yeah, because I can start replacing star fruit any old time now, so. I should grab some star fruit and uh, let's pop that in there. Should grab some star fruit and get it ready to uh, 
go in the kegs. There we go. Make myself some triple shots. Pop one in there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably keep making roasted hazelnuts as we go, because I'm obviously going to be foraging some, so I'll make them as we go, but I'm not going to worry about it right now, I don't think. Okay, let me grab some star fruit. Did I grab star fruit already? I did not. Let's grab that. And let's go first to the quarry. Uh, let's go back to the mine first, actually, because some of the um, some of the smelting is going to be done. Copper might be done. Yes, there we go. I need more copper. There we go. Make some kegs. Hope I have enough wood to make twenty-six more kegs. I should. It might be close, but I hopefully I'll have enough. Uh, okay, so let's go to the quarry. So I know some stuff's going to be done here. Look at all that. Lovely. Get it all? Yes, I did. Just do what we can here. Actually, this is synced up super nicely. This is almost completely synced up. This stuff must have been waiting here for days while well, I was trying to get everything replanted and stuff. There's like a couple of kegs that aren't done, but this is nice. Let me know if I miss anything. I find it's way easier to tell if someone screwed up when it's not you. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm watching other people play, I can, like, see things way more easily than I can see um, when I'm playing myself. One moment. I should like start on the outside first. And I guess I could put a keg right here, couldn't I? I feel like I feel like I could do that. Kind of trap me in a little bit, but I mean, whatever. Do one extra keg, right? Okay. Hopefully, I got everything there. If I didn't, oh well. Back to the mine. Some more stuff will be done. Lovely. Let's make whatever kegs I can make. I can make another six. Uh, so now I'm just short of everything. Um, so maybe I'll start with iron. That'll be done in a couple of hours. It'll give me 10, and I can do 10 copper ore, do 20 copper ore quickly, and then... Yeah, okay, let's do that. So back to the house. So those bars are going to be done just before 7 o'clock. Um... Hopefully I have enough wood. I think I should do, but hopefully. Um, 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 um. What the heck, let's deal with this coffee stuff too. You may be asking, Paul, why don't you, you got these extra cakes here. Why don't you use them for for your, uh, for your wine. The reason is because, oh no, I just realized. Damn it. When you get a house and you get a spouse, they build their room right here off of this room. So I'm gonna lose something and so I, So I don't know. Um, I 
I don't want to lose a keg. At all. So I might need to move some of those kegs just to be safe. Crap. Forgot about that. And today would have been the perfect day to do it, and I really don't want to reset this day. <sighs> oh, well. Okay, so let's go to the... Mine. Yeah. Could use some more hardwood for heavy tappers, but... Again, right now the problem is... Not really oak resin, because I'm having to scrounge up ore for it, so... Let's go to the mine. I got a little bit of time left. Maybe I have time to go put this uh, tree fertilizer down. It's only two, right? So I might have time. Put the tree fertilizer down and kind of make it back there before... I won't make it, but at least I'll have the tree fertilizer put down. Uh, give me some. How about these guys? Oh. There we go. Okay, so now the ore should be finished. It should be just finished now or in a few moments. So we'll go with, that'll be a bunch of iron bars. You know, I kind of have time. I wonder if I should just finish with the iron and not worry about the copper yet. So that's going to be 10, so I'm going to have 12 and 8 more copper bars, and I have 40 things. Yeah, let's just do this. And then we'll start putting in copper. Because then as the copper finishes every half hour, I can just make the extra kegs. Okay, um, while I'm waiting for this stuff, let's go to the... Let's go back to the house. And uh, I do want to not spend too much time here. You know, I might actually just use this to warp down to here. Where's my axe? Where's my axe? Did I put... Where's my axe? Um, hello? I didn't delete it, did I? There it is. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> a little worried I'd like thrown it away or something. Okay, uh, so we've got the axe. Let's go... Oh, let's quit messing around. Let's grab some more hardwood so I can mix another heavy tapper or so. Still gotta, still gotta find that prehistoric scapula. That's gonna really kill me here. Try, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. All right. So back to how much do I have? Thirty-three. So I can make one more heavy tapper. That's excellent. All right. Where should I put it? Here is probably good. Okay, back to the mine. Try and get the rest of these kegs made today. Should be able to, I think, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Nice, okay. Couple more kegs. Eight, oh, I'm paranoid now. What is 18 times 40? Well, 20 times 40 is 800. Minus two seven. I might have just enough wood to do this. Because it's 40 times 18 is 720. So I can make 19. So really it's wood right now that is my problem again. Oof. Wood is my problem. Do I have anything I can go sell at the Adventurer's Guild while it's open? Do I have anything here? Dwarf Sword can go. Do that, I guess. I'm... Yeah. The problem is I'm spending so much money... Um, I'm spending so much money to buy all this stuff, I... I don't know... I, I don't feel like I'm getting ahead at all right now. 
Like I feel like, and I'm probably not getting ahead because I'm spending all my money on, you know, I'm down to 100,000 100, now. Um, all right, let me go back to the house. Pop these keg. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'll just wait. It's only going to be a half hour. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like I'm getting ahead. This is a bit of an issue. Um, don't really feel like I'm getting ahead. The other thing I'm not sure about is if I need to marry Maru. Like, how long would it take to me to get to 14 hearts? I don't feel like it would take that long. When's Maru's birthday? I feel like we passed her birthday already. It's in summer. I'm going to have to run the math on that because I don't really want to marry Maru early if I don't need to. But it's already fall. And I have to gain four hearts. So I'm going to have to run the math on that and just see um, and just see when the, in theory, giving her love, you know, two love gifts a week and stuff, um, when the latest I could marry her is and still make four hearts. Maru friendship. Yeah, going to have to look at that. Uh, okay, so that's all done. Let's make the rest of the, the kegs. There we go. Just got away with it. I got 240 wood left. All right. And I'm going to cut these trees down here, I think. And I've done gifting this week for... Yeah, I've maxed out gifting this week, so i got to wait for next week for Elliot and Kent anyways. Okay. We've maxed out Penny Emeralds. Uh, what else does Maru love? She loves diamonds, bars. Yeah, she's absolutely... I mean, batter batteries. Because diamonds sell for $750, do not they? Yeah. And I might be... Am I a gemologist? What's my... No, I'm I'm prospector. So they sell diamonds sell for seven fifty, but battery packs only sell for five hundred, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So maybe the next time I get a batch of battery packs I should save those for gifts and not use the diamonds, and I can sell the diamonds. But I can sell emeralds now though. Don't need any more emeralds for uh for penny. All right, let's get these kegs put down and get starfruit in them and stuff. 31 kegs, that's that's an encouraging number. Seventeen, nice, this is actually really nice. Uh, okay, let's, uh... Okay. So yeah, there needs to be a little gap in there. I really don't want to lose a keg over it, but if I have to, I have to. Um... Oh, whoops, I need to... Actually, I'm just going to put the uh, ancient fruit wine in this one right here. Oops. Like so. Very nice. Throw the truffle oil in here. So how many keg... Well, I have two keg-wise here. I don't know how many kegs have I made. I've made 421. So I have over 400 kegs. So, I mean, that's that's good. It's a good hope. Is it enough? I don't know. Don't actually know if it's enough. I mean, hopefully it's enough. Is it actually enough? Who can say? Who can say? A couple more tree fertilizers for next time. Uh, and we got, of course, we got this uh, tapper we can throw somewhere. Diamonds can go there. These, I'm just going to sell all these emeralds, I think. I think they can all go. All right. Uh, I think we're probably good for the night. We'll have some more love gifts for Kent. We'll have love gifts for 
Elliot now. So that will take care of that. We just bagged a million. Nice. We just bagged a million that day. That's fantastic. Um, kind of want to sell some stuff or like go buy another obelisk, but I probably shouldn't because I'm going to need, um, whatchamacallit. I need to buy like fruit and or seeds and stuff. Okay, it's raining, so we must, that is to say, we must. Pepper poppers. Maru loves pepper poppers too, doesn't she? Didn't I read that? She does. Sweet. Okay, hopefully, so if, I'm not going to save this day, but if uh, hopefully next time it will, I'll get pepper poppers again. So this is Wednesday the 3rd of fall. So fall 3, capital letters, by mermaid pendant. Um, and literally it's just that and kegs. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I will just check the greenhouse real quick and just see um, artichoke crap yeah um, uh, grow an artichoke because I screwed that up so we need an artichoke for something um, I have a spot in the greenhouse for it where I did not plant a star fruit seed let me just double check and make sure I didn't Stash the artichoke somewhere by accident. Pretty sure I didn't, but it's not there. I mean, it could potentially be in here, but it cle clearly isn't. It's not in there, and it's definitely not in there. And look, that's just food right there. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Yeah, that was, that was not great. I could probably sell a bunch of that fish, though. I probably have a lot of fish I don't need. So we definitely need an artichoke. You know what, I should, yeah, I, I probably, I'll, yeah, I'm going to need to grow an artichoke for sure. I'll probably go over, that's another thing I should go over off stream as well, is um, um, making sure that I actually do have everything that I need. Uh, so let me set another reminder for myself to go over stardew needs slash inventory just to make sure that you know i may have crafted something and reset the day and it doesn't count like the pink cake for example um that sort of thing so just to make sure that what i have here here matches up reality um let's just say it wasn't me um yeah but that's basically the plan for next time the plan for next time is buy mermaid pendant grow an artichoke and make more cakes and then in three days from now, we head over to Ginger Island and get some more star fruit planted. And four days after that, we got pumpkins and then more pumpkins and whatever else. It's the whole thing. Okay, that's the plan for next time.